first of all, I want to apologize if it gets really loud in the background. Um, it decided to storm really quick and I had to set out my lights and everything. But I wanted to go ahead and share my top 10 favorite Essie nail polishes for the fall and winter. And I'm not going to sit here and just jibber jabber on. I'm just going to go ahead and jump on in to the first one. And the first one is called With the Band. And this is a gorgeous deep red. It's almost like a, it's like a warm red. It's not got a, a hint of orange in it. Um, but this color is awesome. And so is the formula. It's like a one coater formula. So it also is really good for stamping as well. So that was the first one that was my favorite. And I'm going to go ahead and show the swatches after I talk about them. The next one that is my favorite, which I don't know if I've ever wore this one until today, but I looked through it and I was like, wow, I've never wore this in Essie. And then I put it on and I was like, good grief, why haven't I wore this sooner? Um, this is Ring in the Bling and I'm not sure which collection this is from, um, but it is so beautiful and it kind of shifts in the light and the shimmers are really, really gorgeous. And I just love this shade so much. Um, you'll notice I've picked out a lot of reds and pinks. Um, I just love those kinds of colors for fall time and winter time. So the next one is called Stop, Drop, and Shop. And a little bit of an interesting story about how I got this nail polish. Um, Essie had this weird campaign going on on Facebook to where you could get a free Essie nail polish in the mail and at first I thought it was a gimmick but then I seen the comments and people were saying they actually got a free nail polish so I signed up for it and it actually was true so um, I'll put down in the description which collection by the name of them these are from I don't remember I don't know so um, but this is stop drop and shop and this is kind of like a mauve -y, uh, pink it is lighter than Essie's Angora Cardi which Surprisingly, that did not make my list. Um, it's just a really, I would say Angora Cardi is more like a winter, winter shade. It's pretty deep. Um, but this shade is just a touch lighter. It's like a blush mauve shade. And it's really, really beautiful. The next shade is no surprise. I've worn this shade multiple times. And it is Essie Go Go Geisha. And this is from their two or three year ago fall collection. Um, this is just a pale nudie pink and it is so beautiful and just, it's just gorgeous. It's like, instead of my lips but better, my nails but better shade for me. Um, and this shade, I really recommend you all pick it up or check it out. I think you can get it on um, eBay if you're interested in getting it. But that was the fourth shade that I really love to wear for fall. And also not just for fall, it's really pretty in the spring too. So that's another one to check out. Okay, so this shade also is from that collection with Gogo Geisha. And it's plain Koi. And this is a burnt rust orange shade. And I wore this every fall just about every year um, that I've had it and it's literally just the perfect shade to ring in the season. Um, it makes me think of pumpkins, it makes me think of leaves and I really love the shade so so much. Now the next shade is one of the most unique Essie shades that I have in my collection and that is sunny days and this is a really weird color um it it's like a I, I really don't know how to explain it it's it's like a touch of yellow a touch of orange and a touch of gold I it's really unique um and today was the first time I put it on again and it definitely is pretty for fall and I'm not so much for sure winter but it is pretty for fall um, it's got really pretty gold shimmers in there, and it's so unique. I I just don't know why I haven't worn it sooner. It's gorgeous. It makes me think of butternut squash soup, which I love making in the fall time. So 
I really love that shade. The next shade, my bottle is a little bit um, separated or it's old, but um, this is Off Tropic and this is a beautiful deep green and I'm happy to say that it does stamp as well. This is a one coater green polish and I really love this shade. It's just a deep forest green um, and there's not much more I can say about it. It's just a really pretty deep green for fall. So I would definitely check that one out if you're interested in looking for a green polish. The next shade is called On Your Mistletoes and this is like a teal, deep teal blue shade. And again, this has an amazing, amazing formula. Um, it's, it's appropriate for the season and this is another one that I love to wear in the fall and winter, mainly in the winter just because it's so deep and it's blue and it makes me think of us and it's really a beautiful shade. And the next shade is called Winning Streak and this is a deep dusty purple. Um, I really need to shake it up. Okay, this is a really deep dusty purple and um, I think this is from the Wild Nudes collection, if I'm not mistaken. And I just love this neutral purple shade. Um, it's great for in the spring, which I think that's when these came out. But it also is great for the fall time. So um, I would definitely recommend getting this. You, I think you can get it in the store. I think I seen it at Walmart last time I was there. I seen it in like the actual Essie um, racks there, which I was surprised. But it's a really, really great purple shade. And then the last one is beautiful for beautiful for fall and winter. And that is Essie Social Lots. And this shade uh, is a beautiful taupey gray shade that's packed with red shimmers. And uh, this shade is so, so beautiful, you guys. You really, really have to see it in person. Um, my pictures just do some of these shades no justice. Um, I think I captured the shimmers a little bit good. I think I captured the shimmers pretty good in this shade. Um, but I really, really love this shade. And if you don't have it, I really recommend you go get it. Um, I actually went to a discount store the other day and they had like six shades, six of these bottles there for $1.99 a bottle and I was like man that is a steal. I would have gotten them but I don't have any purpose in having multiple bottles of the same nail polish because it takes me so long to get through the bottles. But that was my top 10 Essie picks for fall and winter. Let me know in the comments which Essie shades are your favorite for the fall and winter. Um, stay tuned. I have a really neat video. Uh, it's an idea I've been wanting to work on. Um, I wanted to do a video on the top 10 best drugstore nail polishes for stamping. Um, I know a lot of people really don't feel like ordering online for stamping nail polish and sometimes they're really expensive. And I have some really good affordable options um, in my bin for stamping polishes uh, like Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes and stuff. Let me know if you all be interested in seeing a video of that. Um, I, even if you aren't or are, I'm still going to do it just because I figure it would be help you. Ugh. I figure it would be helpful for someone that is um, looking for nail polishes to stamp with. I know I was completely lost when I first started stamping and I went to Sally Beauty Supply and they were like, oh yeah, uh, you gotta buy special stamping polish and stuff. No, you don't. There are drugstore polishes that do stamp and I have like three or four here in front of me from Essie that do. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it wasn't too long and I will talk to you all soon.